Hey my Rhapsody girl, welcome back to my channel. This is Priyanka and as the title says in today's video, I am going to share some tips for you. If you are an aspiring influencer, then these tips will going to help you a lot. And now you must be wondering, this girl doesn't have so many subscribers on her YouTube channel. Then let me tell you, if you are not following me on my Instagram, then I have been on Instagram as an influencer from two years now and I have a good huge family over there. If you are not following me over there, then, then please do because then you will know that I have a good fa family on Instagram and I'm not just a social media influencer, but I am a social media manager by profession not just a social media manager i am a social media and pr manager by profession i work in a digital agency in gurgaon and i have been uh, in this field since like four years now and i have a good knowledge about how to build your or build your audience on a uh, social media platform and this was all the knowledge with a very big intro and now with that being said let's dive right into this video The first tip I have is that no your USP because guys everyone has their own USP and they are good at something at least one thing that some people know some people doesn't but there are some USP in everyone and I if you know that USP that yeah because that is going to help you a lot in your influencer career because uh, you choose that one point and just impact into that don't try to you know um, hop on different different uh, fields or different different genres that is not going to help anyway so there are influencers who are just in makeup there are influ influencers who are just in fashion there are influencers who just in beauty diy's there are so many influencers who are just in shoe they do not do anything except styling their shoes in different ways and that is such an amazing thing so they know your usp they know they love the shoe they know they can um, style their one shoe in different thousand of different ways so that is why they are into just shoes and they are doing really well so yeah that is exactly what you have to do if had i been you this earlier in my life while i was going to start my uh, influencer and blogging thing i wouldn't have you know um hop on different things then but uh, now uh, i i did not knew what what i was good at at that time so i just tried different things and that is why i end up having everything but if you know your usp then please go and go with that intact with it and you will do very good once you know your usp and now that you know that what are you good at and what is uh, you are going to start with then the next thing is that plan your calendar for a month in advance once you have your calendar try making videos on everything photos or video phone bahut aate hai mujhe phone aa gaya tha fir se so once you know your usp and everything plan your calendar in advance and start making your videos or start shooting and then once you have your calendar in advance then once you have your call Uh, content in advance as well then start uploading and meanwhile you are posting that stuff you can shoot your next calendar in advance again and that is how you will never run out of content the third thing that i have for you is guys is no matter if you are doing a paid partnership or barter or it is just it is not a sponsored content make sure that your reviews are it's Are honest, no matter what. So there is there anything that you a brand has sent you or a brand has paid you to review, and you are not liking it, then please go to the brand and say that this particular product or this is not working for me because I have seen some side side effects and some bad things using this particular product. So I am not going to review this. They'll be more than happier to you know say no if there no brand can no. line mark my word that no brand can force you to create content that you don't want to create right so if you have any problem with the content or with the product then please say to the brand and they will definitely understand your problem they might ask the money back they might ask the product back if if you have used the product they will might ask you to pay for that product but that is okay guys you don't want to lose your audience's uh, trust i'm pretty sure it's okay if there is a brand who doesn't want to work with you in future because you have denied to review their product because of that product is not 
hard working for you that's completely okay because there are multiple brands available who will be able to work with you if they uh, no matter if you are going to say bad thing or good thing because they want honest reviews and i have been working with those brands in a paid promotion that i am being talking about them and i have said something bad about them and they are completely okay because they want honest reviews they doesn't want reviews they want honest reviews so if there is something and that is also that is also going to help the brand to you know improve their product so yes make sure that your reviews are honest and that is how your audience will help will also help you to you know give your content and they will also help you they will trust you a lot so make sure lose all the brands but never lose your audience trust the next point that i have for you guys that you don't have to invest in anything if you want to start your uh, blogging or stuff like that if you want to start your youtube channel if you want to start your blogging on instagram or on any website you don't have to invest in anything because there is wordpress available where you can create your domain for free of course there will be dot wordpress.com available but that doesn't going to uh, matter any if your content is good then nothing is going to matter people will read you people will read about you people will watch your content people will read your comment if the content is good so domain falana dimkana doesn't matter until unless your content is good and you are uh, true with your content that was the one part of this point and the next part is start with whatever you have so if you want to become i i'm going to give you the example of beauty but th this goes with anything fashion gadget or whatever but if you let's like, suppose if you have if you want to become a beauty influencer you must have had some lipsticks at your home then start reviewing them and that is exactly how i started my blogging i used to review the products i uh, have bought in my past earlier i would review them on my different social channels and that is how the star brand started approaching me also definitely i also went to some brand and i still go to brand to you know i say that uh, i have been trying these products from a while from your brand and that is such a great product for me i i really like this and if you are planning any influencer activity in future then please let me know and please keep me in your mind if you think i will be fitting into your campaign then please keep me in your mind and if the brand likes my content they do approach me and they do come back to me brand will also approach you that way so yeah be be honest and start with what you have you have camera you have phone just start with that you don't have you don't need any dslr or video camera professional video camera to start your blogging also when you will uh, be honest with your reviews now then it will uh, help you in three different ways one that uh, you will have more content because if there is any script or if they you are uh, you know not giving your honest reviews then this is uh, your script will be shorter and you will not have much content to speak about that particular brand or product and the second thing that if you are honest with your content then it will show you you will not sound scripted or you will not look scripted because yes if you are you know reading something or if you are just know that i cannot say this about this and you can i cannot say that and i can only say this particular thing about this product or brand then this is going to reflect in your speech in your videos and everything the third and the last thing is that this will save you from getting trolled because imagine you are reviewing a product is you are just speaking about it because you haven't tried it and you have that i cannot say this and that and you are just speaking good stuff about this and that particular product people have already tried and they think yeah this product doesn't do what she is saying then they will definitely troll you and this will reflect in your uh, speech and everything yeah the people will troll you a lot so yes if you are uh, if you are true with your reviews then definitely you are not going to troll but of course there are negative people around you there are so many people in the world and some of them are negative and some of them are just here in the world to you know criticize but forget them but make sure that you are true and you are honest with the content and everything that you are providing providing to your audience and you will be standing strong if you are honest The next thing is I have lost the count. The next thing is that maintain the consistency of posting. I am not asking you to 
post on every single uh, hour but i am asking you to post at least alternate days or every single day so maintain the consistency that is why how you are going to be uh, you know in touch with you and they will enjoy if you you know give more and more content they will enjoy but also quality also matters so doesn't lose the quality of your content while maintaining the quantity so if you are running late if you are running shorter with the content um do align your audience in advance and they will understand definitely but make sure that you are main, uh, posting constantly the next point is about algorithm be it instagram youtube facebook blog or anything make sure that you are engaging with your audience and make sure you are promoting your content as well so if you are promoting in the promoting in the sense you don't need to put money behind that just whenever you are posting make sure that you are you know posting it on story as well you are don't dm people that please like and comment no 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 that is not the right way uh, just make sure that you are uh, posting uh, it on story as well you uh, tag relevant brands do not tag irrelevant brands that are not relevant to related to your content the first 30 minutes after posting your content is the most important time is the most valuable time because if there is any comment make sure that you are replying to those 30 comment make sure not 30 make it one hour 30 minutes is definitely but let's keep it one hour the first one hour of your content after posting is the most valuable time make sure that whatever comment you are uh, uh, receiving during this one hour make sure that you are replying to that comment with at least four wo uh, wo words include emojis or anything but make sure you are replying at least with four words or more but not less than four words and make sure that you are replying to each and every comment that has been received in one hour after posting and always engage with your audience so that they comment and when they comment you reply them and that is how there is kind you know the algorithm will think that there is some kind of conversation going on so it will boost your post organically and that is how your post will go viral and you will get more followers more engagement and people kids are playing outside and that this is why there is a lot of noise so please bear with me now you must have heard people saying that keep an eye what what's working for you and what is not that's a bullshit something that worked for you yesterday might not work for you tomorrow or today but something that doesn't work for you yesterday might work in the future so make sure you are experimenting with your content and that is how people like the content you know that is exactly the way people like people doesn't like to say sing, same thing every single day so make sure you are experimenting with your content with your creativity you build everything the next point is that don't write shorter copies shorter copies in the shorter uh, captions make sure that you are writing at least 3 4 sentences and so how uh, will it go is in the introduction para write everything that is relevant to the content and you can definitely write more in the next two three paras you don't have to write you know a lengthy essay but make sure that you are writing something because keyword matters a lot in every social media platform be it instagram youtube facebook instagram as well yes you heard me right on instagram as well people think that we can write one liner and that is going to you know that is enough for instagram because instagram pe seo is not that a big thing but people are wrong there because algorithm is all about keywords and seo so yes write a little lengthy captions like i said engage with your audience and whenever you post your content in your stories make sure that you are adding a call to action you are engaging with your friends like swipe up okay swipe up is not available for everyone it is available after you get 10k followers uh like tag to see how you can use a listing in different ways so that is how you are going to add a call to action people will tap and will reach to the content that you have created and they will enjoy watching that now when we were talking about stories the next point is again related to story that make sure that you are posting at least 10 to 8 to 10 stories per day um if not uh, possible 8 to 10 are not possible make sure that 5 to 6 are there for sure 
i give you an example so when i was not very busy in my office thing then i used to post at least 10 to 8 stories and i achieved 13k followers and then i uh, moved to my this job right now where i am working and then i got really busy with everything and i did not find time for my own channel and then i stopped creating and posting stories and then i stick to my current audience and then this happened and now during the quarantine period when i was not having a lot of work but now i have but uh, initially when i was not having a lot of work then i started again posting like 7 8 10 11 12 multiple endless number of stories on my instagram and again i get a lot of followers during that period of time and then now i again when i have a lot of work to do i am stuck on my number so yes make sure that you are posting stories like at least five six stories every day the next point is focus on video content and people will enjoy so i tell you how algorithm of any content is works it's exactly like YouTube, even Insta Instagram or any other platform is like exactly YouTube. So if people are watching your videos on YouTube for a longer time, that is good for you, right? Exactly on every other platform, if people are staying on your uh, post or content for a longer time, they are, algorithm will uh, notice that thing and it will boost your content and it will help, going to help you in different, so many different ways. So make sure that you are posting content that is engaging so that people are engaging with you. People are staying at your uh, post for a longer time. They are watching, make sure that you are um, creating videos and carousal posts that are engaging and that is how instagram algorithm will work and that is how instagram or any platforms algorithm will go into notice that people are enjoying uh, watching your content and they are staying at your content and that is how they will boost your content as well and lastly use the location feature like you are tagging relevant brands and people in your content make sure that you are also tagging your location and that is as simple as this just tag the location because people will get people around you will get the notification while you are not the notification notification in the sense instagram algorithm will show them your content either in search bar or something uh, somewhere else but adding location is definitely going to work for you so make sure that you are tagging your relevant brands people and location as well and this is all about it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm again i'm repeating my words i'm not just a social media influencer but i'm also a social media manager and also a pr manager i'm a social media and pr manager by profession i am working in a digital agency for a very long time and that is why i know these things i have been promoting and creating brands audience from a very long time now i have worked in different fields and that is how i know all these things about my instagram and every other platform that i that are available on in this market if you get inspired by this content even a little bit then please let me know in the comment section below if you start your blogging career after watching this video then do let me know on my instagram or my other social media platforms instagram will work only instagram will work okay so make sure that you are following me as well because on instagram i upload so many stuff that i do not upload here so make sure that you are following me on my instagram as well and like this video i have already said that no no like this video please comment down share it with anyone who so ever did this video and such motivation i will see you in my next video guys till then bye bye